Hello, fifth grade parents. This is Dr. Wes Fryer. Today is August the 28th, 2020, and we have had a very successful second week back at school, and I am so excited to have the opportunity to teach computers, which I like to call our digital and media literacy class here at Cassidy School this year, and I've really enjoyed getting to know your students so far. Um, we are going to be continuing to do a variety of different projects and the best way whether you are uh, whether your student is um, attending regular face-to-face in-person class or whether you're flex learning at home either either temporarily or long term is in my Cassidy to go ahead and look at the learning guide which is a document you should be able to see when you um, log in and click on our class. It's on that bulletin board page um, right as you first look at information about our class. Um, this weekend I'll be getting a bunch of our grades updated and as I know you're aware in this first trimester we don't have a cumulative grade for uh, Mike Cassidy for our fifth graders but we will have individual grades um, on different assignments and what, I'll, um, what I do is I like to put an M if, a, if an assignment is missing and um, I am doing my best to try and keep both my Cassidy and Google Classroom updated. Uh, what does sometimes happen is students are going to turn something in and I'm not every single day going through all of the assignments to make sure that, that my Cassidy gets updated because they are not automatically synchronized at this point. And so um, when you are curious as far as what your students need to do in our class, um, in addition to seeing what's going on in the learning guide, you can look over your, your child's shoulder or you could ask them for their username and their password. We talk about that as our parents being safe people that we can share our, our usernames and passwords with. Um, and then you're able to take a look at all assignments, what's upcoming, and it shows you if anything is due. Um, really, in this elective class, there is generally not a lot of um, outside work that's required. We're usually able to complete everything in class. And my hope is that in addition to increasing their digital literacy skills and their, and their savvy, being able to not only keyboard, but also use some of our different applications with Google and using images and being able to respect intellectual property and understanding that, um, students are also going to develop some savvy with media literacy. So in fact, one of the, the lessons, we're gonna be doing a lesson about Gmail basics because as fifth graders, this is their first year uh, for a lot of them to have an email account and so we're going to be covering a lot of different bases about email and how to manage our email and try to uh, develop good habits from the beginning but we're also going to be doing a lesson I'm really excited about um, that involves conspiracy theory and we're going to that, that can be a controversial topic we're going to actually talk about the Apollo moon landings and uh, we're going to we're going to talk about how um, out on the internet, on YouTube, in different places, there are all kinds of different theories and there are some really good guidelines that some different um, academic writers have identified to try to uh, figure out when something is just, I, I might call it a Fruit Loop theory, uh, something that is really off base. How do we identify those kinds of things? Um, we'll talk about how the United States and the world didn't have the technology in 1969 to fake the moon landings. Uh, we really did land on the moon. Um, and so that is gonna be an introduction. We talk a lot about advertising and the ways in which people are trying to hack our minds and trying to get us to think things or maybe even do things. Even as fifth graders, you know, I talk to the students about how they have power in their family uh, recommending things to buy, restaurants to go to, or products to purchase in the grocery store. Um, we just had a lesson this last week that um, focused on that and there was a, a video that we watched and we had some discussion about that so you might ask him about that and um, hopefully you're going to see in our seesaw learning journal if you sign up for that and I'll in I'm including with this message I'm sending you a way that you'll be able to sign up so that you can get those updates you'll be able to get a little bit of a window into some of the work we're doing uh, the conversations we're having and the ways that we're developing our media literacy skills along with our our digital literacy skills. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can email me. Um, I uh, want to be available to you if we need to, to have a meeting or you'd like to. We can, we can certainly set up a virtual meeting. It's weird to not have parents in the building, but I will say I think Cassidy is doing everything that we possibly could at this point 
to be safe and things have been going really well. I've really really enjoyed being back and I um, you know I'm hopeful that that we'll be able to continue this face-to-face -face learning but whatever happens um, we're going to um, be taking care of your students and we're going to be doing our best of course to make sure that they're getting the best experience that they can uh, in this historic time, this difficult time. Um, so whether we end up doing remote learning for a while um, or, or we don't have to uh, or, or different people are having to, to do that um, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do our best and hopefully um, you know we're going to continue to to not only learn a lot but to have fun together and to enjoy this opportunity that we have at this amazing and wonderful school where we are learning and studying together so thank you so much and i look forward to continuing to work with you and your student in the days and weeks ahead